Hey, it's LaDonna. Welcome back to Double L Cattle Farming and Hatchery. Today, we are going to build a mineral slash crate feed slash fly control area. Y'all stick around. We're going to do some more cross fencing um, this big field here down the side of the road. So there's two things cattle always need and that is water and shade. So we have these trees here and the swamp down there always has water. So what we're going to do is use this as our main water shade source and in doing that we're going to fix us a creep feed area here so that once they come in the calves can always get to their creep feed and then over here we're going to fix up a another area for a cow curtain we've already gotten started so we've got some of our stuff laid out and honestly every bit of this so far is something we've come across that where someone was getting rid of miscellaneous stuff. We bought a whole truckload of panels when we first got started. Best decision we ever made. And then also this cable came from just some random stuff people were selling and also this turnbuckle. So I mean those things can can save you a lot of money. We're very excited that we thought of the turnbuckles because they're the way to go to get something like this done. But what we did was um, we measured our other one just so we'd have a starting point. We come up and measured and drilled a hole and put this in there on both ends. Strung the cable up. Leveled it. Used these little clamps. Put it on the turnbuckle and the clips that we use for our cattle carton only has the one end clip, so we had to put those on there first. But this is where we are so far. We'll keep you updated. Cattle cartons from last year. I always put them in a bag and tape them up just to keep them protected over the winter. Keep the dust and the dirt from getting in the wicks. We're fixing to get these bad boys out and hang them up so we'll know where to put our panels on the sides. Yeah, both of our cattle cartons hung up. Now we're gonna. Put it in the middle, measure it off level, and put our panels up against it so the cows will have to go through that to get to the water. Right, so we got our panels up. That way they have to go through that. And we just put a T post down for right now. We don't have our tie wire with us, so we just barely put it on for now. We'll come back and secure that better. And we take a piece of mule tape down here around the tree. This side we got to tie again as well. Turnbuckle's not quite tight enough. You always think you have it tight enough and then you put this up and it's kind of sagging a little bit. But that's, that's just a work in progress till we get it all level like we want it. So we're getting ready to finish up our mineral and cattle carton area and then we'll start cross fencing the hay field off. But, so I'm filling up my cattle curtains. Just got my five gallon of hydraulic fluid with uh, about two to three ounces of permethrin with a five gallon pump. You just pump it in there, it holds about two gallons. Get ready for those flies. Ready to finish up our crepe area over here. Um, you know, we're just testing this out to see if it works. Y'all can laugh at us if you want, probably later. Um, but we're gonna try to do it out of electric fencing around the creep area and see how that works. But we got our creep panel set. Now we just got to finish up our wiring. So no matter which area they're in, we divided it into four areas. So no matter which area they're in, we have it fixed to where they can come through here to get their water mineral the creep feed and you know to go through the cattle curtains there that has the fly control in it
we bringing y'all some food? Daddy's bringing y'all some food. Are y'all excited? They couldn't even wait till we unhooked it from the tractor. They're starving to death. <laughs> this is the area they come through. They can go through there and get their water. They come in here. We have it divided off to where we can put them on different pastures. They have their high mag mineral and the creek feed. Got a creep panel up here so the calves can get through and see how this electric fencing works. So we normally use all panels. As you can see, the calves are already enjoying it. And they're mad because they can't get in. How fresh is this stuff? Could be any fresher or we still be grazing.